Hey peeps, I'm sure you have been very much looking forward to my next video that could potentially boost your vocabulary. So since my last one, well our first one, I have been continuing to read and write down any new words ready for this video. So let's get started. Obstreperous means marked by unruly or aggressive noisiness. It can also mean stubbornly, stubbornly resistant to control. Pert is in good spirits. Ducal is of or relating to a duke or dukedom. Gosama or gosama. Um, part of this video is going to be me uh, struggling to pronounce the words. That might be quite entertaining for you. But as a noun, it means the very thin thread that spiders produce to make webs. As an adjective, it means very delicate and light. Dank, I mean not really in like a modern context, means unpleasantly moist and humid or damp and often chilly. Now this one I'm going to really struggle to pronounce, but it's spelled P-H-A-E-T-O-N and I'm going to go for Phaeton. It's a 19th century four-wheeled uh, carriage drawn by two horses with front and back seats and usually a folding top at the, for the front. But it can also mean an early type of gasoline automobile resembling a carriage and later a touring car. No, towing car, sorry. A ruffian is a man who behaves violently and is involved in crime. Felonious in criminal law is of or involving, involving, um, of involving or constituency, constituenting, constituting, sorry, um, a felony, which is a very serious crime such as armed robbery, and can also mean wicked, base. Guileless is open and truthful without any attempt, any attempt to deceive. Proscenium is the arch or opening separating the stage from the auditorium together with the area immediately in front of the arch. In ancient theatres it can refer to the stage itself. Viande means uh, food items. I mean la viande is French for meat so I guess that's implying that food's very meaty but you know there you go. Um, cadaverous, I'm going to go for, refers to thinness and pallidness. And uh, remunerative means that whatever is paid for. So there's my first list. We're getting on to the next one now. Exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. Okay. So let's start with nomad, nomadic, nomadic. We'll go with that. Of relating to or, or characteristic of nomads, which are people who fix residence, moving usually seasonally. It can also mean roaming about from place to place aimless, aimlessly, frequently, or without a fixed pattern of movement. Prosaic is dull and ordinary. To me that sounds like the opposite, like, I don't know why, it just sounds like a nice word, prosaic, but there you go. Drab is a dull brown or light olive brown. Another one I, I looked up is a polk, P-O-L-K. But, um, I couldn't find a definition for that. Crinoline is an open weave fabric of horse hair or cotton that is usually stiffened and especially used as underwear. Perquisite is a benefit which one is... Yeah, per perquisite, yeah. There we go. A benefit which one is entitled to or to on account of their job. Pearl is knit with pearl stitch. Um, 
retributively is for a for a reward. I feel like I should have known that one before, but I didn't. So there we go. To bide is to continue as one is. To wait. To withstand and tolerate. Penance is devotion performed to show sorrow or repentance for sin or a private confession ritual. Disconsolately is dejectedly, despondently. Clamorously means loudly with dedication, especially used to describe protesting. Blandishment is something that tends to coax or or allure attempting to reel someone in. Gallant is splendid, stately, spirited, brave. Um, Oasis is plural of oasis. So in case you didn't know, an oasis is a fertile green area in uh, an arid region, e.g. a desert, um, or something that provides refuge, relief, or pleasant contrast. So is that all of that one? Yeah, that's all of that one. Right, we're moving through these speedily. Galling means annoying. Clemency is mercy or lenience. Uh, flu, as in F L U E, is uh, a duck for smoke and waste gases produced by a fire, a gas heater, a power station, or other fire burning installation. Victual, which is archaic. It yeah, just refers to food. It's a good one, that was victual. Asperity is harshness. A beadle is. I feel like I've heard that one before. I feel like it's in a John Keats poem. Hmm. But anyway, a beadle is a ceremonial officer of a church, college, or similar institution. Or a church officer attending on a minister. Or a minor parish officer dealing with petty offences. Uh, that's quite an old definition. Prattle is foolish or inconsequential talk. Satiated means satisfied. Inexorable means relentless. So we're getting on to the last slide now. There we go. Uh, pecuniary, pecuniary, pecun, pecun, pecuniary. That doesn't sound right. But anyway, um, it's consisting of or measured in money or just related to money in gen. Pious is worthy or marked by hypocrisy or dutiful or religious. Affrighted means frightened or alarmed. It is an archaic term. Bit of ASMR for you. Anyway, where were we? Right. Insurrection is an organised attempt by a group of people to defeat their government and take control of their country, country, usually by violence. To imbue is to fill something or someone with a quality or feeling. Ilk is a particular type. So you could say like, of that ilk in a sentence. Um, it, it, so it means like of that type, kind or sort. So this is an example of of that ilk in a sentence. So 
it is this is from uh, the uncommercial traveler by charles dickens which is a book i've had, i've finished reading the book now it's where i've got most of these words so here's the example it is not denied that on t- on the terrace of the adelphi or in any of the streets of that subterranean stable haunted spot or about bedford row or james street of that ilk I didn't pro- totally process that then for some reason. I mean, you wouldn't think I'd read the book, but yeah. So, I mean, like, a more simple example would be... Hang on, let me think. So someone says, what do you want to drink? And you say, uh, I'll have a lemonade or a drink of that ilk. So it could be so any sort of fizzy drink. Or, like... Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, Moving on. Larceny is stealing without legally entering a building to do so. So, pretty exciting type of uh, steal there. And placid means calm. I feel like I already, if I'd really thought about that, I would have known that one. But but yeah, there we go. Anyway, I think that is, yeah, that's all the words. So, I hope you've learnt some new ones, and um, hopefully I'll do another at some point soon. See ya.